Blessings to all, blessings to all, blessings to all, blessings to all. This is Darren Moore on with Worldwide Ministries. God bless each and every one of you. Amen. Amen. We're going to go today in the in Revelations today. Revelations 3 and 14. Revelations 3 and 14. Uh, verse 14 says, Write this letter to the angel of the church in Laodicea. This is the message from the one who is the Amen, the God Almighty himself. God Almighty himself is speaking on today. This says the faithful and true witness, the beginning of God's cre uh, new creation, the beginning of the new creation. Uh, verse 15, I know all the things you do. God knows everything we do. There's nothing we can hide from God. God knows and sees it all. Man might know, preachers, pastors might not see everything that go, that go on in our life. Your friends and family might not see everything, but God sees everything. It's a time now where we got to fear God like never before. There's so much going on in, in coming against the, uh, the earth. The, uh, the enemy is on a, ramp, a rampage. He's opening up all kind of portals and a whole lot of things that's coming. People of God, we need to get ready. We need to get ready. Have the fear of the Lord. Fear of the Lord meaning reverencing God. Not being scared of God, but reverencing God for who he is. Walking in the sense of knowing that we got to walk in righteousness. We got to walk in holiness and truth in everything we do. I'm, after, I, after I get off here, I'm going to do a, uh, a prayer called um, the war against sin. God gave me that yesterday. The war against sin. We got to fight against sin like never before because it weakens our power. It weakens us when we when we fall into it. And the enemy, a lot of times the enemy calls us to go into it. And it weakens our spiritual growth with God. But today, God said, drop this word. Drop this word about us uh, being, uh, him, him knocking on the door and us showing up and um, showing up and seeking him with all our hearts. Okay, y'all. Uh, I know all things you do that you are neither hot nor cold um loving god one minute and then going out the next minute hanging with my friends i'm loving god and i want to read the bible but I'm, i want to watch some stuff on i want to watch some other stuff on netflix i want to watch some other stuff that's going on all these different things be be either what god said be either one or the other be one or the other Today, I decree and declare that the power over sin will overcome you and endow you to fight sin in Jesus' name. May the power to fight sin, may it be upon you today so the enemy won't attack you, so you can walk righteous with God, so you won't be uh, either high, uh, 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 in between. So you're going to be in between. God said, I wish that you either be one or the other. Okay? Either be one or the other. It says, um, but since you are lukewarm, lukewarm, meaning in between both, uh, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. We, we don't want God to spew us out of his mouth. We want, we want to be in the presence of God. We want to be in the walking in the newness and the freshness of God. We're going to fear the Lord on today and fear his reverence. Fear his reverence and walk in his righteousness on today. On today. I'm... I had um, I went to sleep early. Uh, I woke up earlier. Then I, I fell back to sleep, and I had this dream. I'm telling you, uh, you, you see, you know, I was talking to this guy, and you see these trees. Um, all of a sudden, in the sky, I saw a whirlwind. I saw a whirlwind. So I went to look to see uh, where it was coming from, and all I could see y'all was fire. I'm telling you, and I mean, this fire was moving fast. It was coming toward us. It was, it was, the tree, everything was just catching on fire. Everything was just engulfing the flames. And it was getting closer and closer to me and the guy. So before the guy can realize, before he can realize what was going on, I took off running. I, people of God, I took off running. I was gone. But in a dream, the fire was moving so fast, I couldn't escape the fire. I'm telling y'all, something is about to hit this earth. The enemy is launching out of all our attack, people of God. I want y'all to stand firm, get in God's word, start shutting stuff down, spend more time with God, spend more time in faith, prayer and fasting, people of God. When these things hit, I want y'all to be ready and prepared and equipped so you won't be moved. 
This stuff is not going to happen to the to God's people. It's going to happen to the people that's not ready. All kind of famines and diseases is coming. People of God, get ready. Get in your word. Stay in your word as much as possible. When you on your break, read your Bible. When you when you uh, get home, before you go to sleep, put on worship music. Pray a little while before you go to sleep at night. So you won't have any kind of dreams. But um, but let's be right with God. God don't want us to be one way one minute and one way the next minute. Let's be in right stands with God. Okay? Okay, then it says um, Revelations 3 and, uh, and 18. So I advise you to buy gold from me, which is his goodness. His goodness. Gold that has been purified by fire. God's, God is other words saying, he, in other words, he's saying, spend time with me and I'll purge you. Okay? What is that verse saying? He said, uh, this, this is the NLT version. Buy gold from me and I'll purge you. Uh, and, and, I'll, uh, and, and I'll go for me. Let me read it again. Uh, buy gold from me, gold that has been purified by fire. Let God clean, cleanse and purify you. May the fire of God, may it be upon you to overcome sin so you can walk in righteousness. May it overcome you. Don't let the enemy think that you can't fight, it, fight this thing. You can fight it by fasting, I'm telling you. You can overcome these things. People of God, we got the word. We don't have no excuses. You can overcome it by fasting. You can overcome it by fasting. You ever notice when you get sick, you can't eat anyway. You ever notice that? When you get sick, you, you get sick, what, what happens? You, you can't eat. And after about three days, you feel totally better. You ever notice that? Because you wasn't eating. Your body is, uh, all, every, most of our problems is in our belly, is in our gut from what we eat. Most of our problems is in our belly and our gut from the things that we eat. That's 90% of our problem. After about three days, you feel so much better. Why? Because you haven't put nothing in your belly. You use in the bathroom, and after a while, you feel uh, like a totally different person, a brand new person. But God is going to purge you and purify you on today. And then we go on down to, um, then you will be rich. You see, purge and purify first, then all the, the rich, all the blessings come. Richness comes from God. Prosperity, all that stuff comes from God. But God, let's get clean and cleansed first, and all the other things will come. Okay? Also, buy white garments. Okay? White garments from me, so you will not be shamed by your nakedness. So, wearing garments is important. And ointment for your eyes, so you will be able to see. God wants us to see in the realms of the Spirit. Um... Y'all heard me on one of my shorts say, um, get off social media and pray. And people didn't understand what I was saying. A lot of things that we're watching on social media, it gets into our eye gates and our ear gate. Eye gates, all of this uh, 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 um, porn videos, it gets into our eye gates and it gets into our soul. Things that we're listening to, it, go, it gets in our soul. It's going to all of these eye gates and the ear gates. And, now, and then before you know it, it's all in our soul. And we go to sleep and we dream about all this stuff. And we wonder why all these crazy dreams is happening. Because we don't watch all this stuff on social media. All this stuff on social media. Uh, but when we get into God's word and fast, God will start showing you family to pray for. I'm telling you. He'll start showing you things. But our, our spirit, our soul is clawed. The spirit is perfect. It's right. But it's the soul that's clawed with so much stuff. Uh, okay, uh, okay, look at, okay, let's go down to, um, my scriptures keep rolling on me. Then we go on down to verse 19. I correct and discipline everyone I love. God does this because he loves us so much. If God ain't dealing with you about nothing, then, then, um, then, then, you, then you just done, what's that, a, a reprobate of mind. He just gave you up to a reprobate of mind. But God chastens the ones that he loves. He, 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 he uh, chastens us, the ones that he loves. The Holy Spirit tugs on you a lot. Read, read your word. Fast. Pray. I know it used to happen to me a lot of times, and I wouldn't even do it. I would sit there playing the video game, playing NBA 2K all the time, playing NBA 2K. 
The Holy Spirit would say to me, go go pray. I would, and I'd say to myself, I ain't, I ain't praying. I ain't, gonna, I ain't doing nothing. I would literally say that. I ain't doing nothing. Um, the, 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 the flesh. This dog on flesh. But once you fast, uh, then it'll cause us to yield to all of these things. Okay? Uh, so be diligent and turn from your indifference. Verse 20, look, this is what I want to get. This is what this is what God is saying. Look, I stand at the door and knock. I stand. Jesus is standing at the door and he's knocking. That's all he can do. He's not going to force nothing else on you. He's already at the door knocking. He can't do no more. It, if you if you hear my voice and open the door, that means he's going to speak to you. If he's knocking, He's going to speak to you. Uh, if you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and we will share a meal together as friends. Jesus wants you to be his friend. He told Abraham, God told Abraham, sacrifice your son. And before Abraham could do it, God said, hold on. I got a sacrifice. I got a, a ram in the bush over there. Now that I know that you are my, now that I know that you fear me and love me. You, Abraham is my, will be my friend. You, Abraham, will be my friend because you was obedient and I know that you love me. Okay? Those who are victorious will sit with me on my throne. If you overcome these things, fasting and praying and listening to God when he answer you, getting purged and purified, wearing the garments, all of these things, you will sit on, you will sit with him. Uh, we will share a meal together. Those who are victorious, you are victorious today. Tell yourself you are victorious will sit with me on my throne just as I was victorious and sat with my father on his throne. Anyone with ears, you got ears, to hear must listen to the Spirit. This is the Spirit of God speaking. This is the Spirit of God speaking. And understand what he is saying to the churches. Okay? I want to drop this word to y'all today. Hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying on today. Um... Um, yeah, if you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in, okay? Um, yeah, so, um, so you all be encouraged. I want to drop that word to you all today. God is good. He's on the throne. He, the voice of God on today. He's standing at the door knocking. Let him in and, and um, sup with him in Jesus' name. This is Darren Moore, and I'm signing out till next time. Amen. Love and peace.